I just want to eat it. I just want to dip my face into it. Whoa. The Germans are coming. Hey, what's up, YTPC? It's Big John coming back at you, baby, for another review. Today, we're going to be hitting on the HU Tobacco Dock Worker. Now, this tin, uh, a couple of tins, was sent to me by my good buddy, uh, Jeff the Chef Piper. If you have not subscribed to him, please, please go over there. Hit him with a subscription. He has a vast knowledge of pipes and tobacco and all things uh, that we like. So, uh, give him some love. Tell him Big John sent you. Today we're going to be hitting that dock worker in my Peterson Deluxe Free Irish State Apple. Probably one of my best, best, best favorite pipe shapes is slowly becoming the apple. And one of my best burly smokers. Um, this HU dock worker, as it's described, is a burly oriental Turkish and Virginia. I'm not going to lie to you. I've been smoking it for the past week. I've been absolutely blown away by it. A little hard to get, and I apologize for putting it on here. You know, I know you guys sometimes, if you can't readily get it, you get a little mad at me, but if it's something you could track down in the forums, get a friend, get a friend of a friend. I'm going to call your friends. You can call my friends. We can be friends and pick you up a tin of this dock worker. A beautiful tin art. First off in the presentation, I'm not sure what all the rictus clocking is here, but I'm sure it's probably like a warning. Not sure on the date. Uh, it's got a little German tag on it, 50 grams. Looks like 980 euro, so like 10 bucks a euro. Get you a nice little. The crazy thing about this is it's got those Malawi and those African burleys in it. It gives like a little bit of a different hit, a little bit of a different flavor. And then it's got Virginia's from Zambia. So HU Tobacco uses a lot of tobaccos from Africa. I mean, you know, they got the constant hot, good weather for growing tobacco. So why not? Um, the blend itself if you let it sit out on the table it has this just aroma that hits you like a sweet and sour tangy sugary kind of uh it almost comes off like a strong like a fruity sugary cereal sometimes to me but real pretty flakes real nice presentation of flakes look at that Packs well, burns well. Now let's get into it a little bit here. I'm going to leave this actually open because it is a little wet. Off the hit, first thing you get is almost like a sweet and sour... The chocolatey and nuttiness of the Burleys comes through. You get the hay from the Virginias, but a nice sweet, sweet kind of hay barnyard kind of thing, almost cigar-like. But then it dips off into this sweet and sour, like almost like Izmir type. It's got a one-two combination to it that is absolutely amazing. I'd say with this tobacco, I think it likes a, a decent-sized bowl, like a, a, a medium-sized apple, nothing too crazy. I tried it in a little bit of a bigger bowl, and it kind of went a little bit tannic on me. It kind of went a little too far. That's some of those subtle, fruitier tones, so it's a little bit of a smaller pipe. 
this could definitely be a candidate for an all-day smoke it's got enough nicotine punch to it not a three peas nicotine punch to it but that's for another story another video but it's got a punch to it and it's it's just a master class in excellent blending and it goes to show you if you do a little bit of research do a little bit of digging the best is not behind us as far as pipe tobacco I believe that some of the blends that are going to be coming out and some of the blends that are coming out are going to be some of the best blends and and the future is bright for pipe tobacco everybody looks back oh this was good this was good this was good but at the time when it was readily available nobody cared about it everybody complained about it you know but because they can't have it oh whoa a whole it is a little wet moisture content is real real high on this one so you should probably let it dry out a little bit I've had the tin uh, not back factory sealed by any means but just sitting on my desk for a day and it's still still a little reasonable so it is going out on me a little bit but that's not the tobacco's fault that's the preparers fault mmm The Burley, Virginia, Turkish Oriental combination is just really nice. I see Dock Worker being a more mature, like the Cornell and Deal, um, Oriental, Virginia. Um, if that had a couple more years, if some of the other Oriental Virginia blends that I've had or Virginia Oriental blends that I've had in a couple of years I think they could become something like Doc Worker is. Doc Worker has that that European I mean they, they've got this down. They've been doing it for a very, very long time. Just an excellent smoke. Smooth and creamy, tangy. Even when you push it, it doesn't have any bite to it at all whatsoever. And I'm kind of pushing it for the review right now just because it's going out on me and it's still smoking smooth. All in all, I'd say this is a excellent tobacco. If you have a chance to get your hands on a tin, happen to know somebody overseas or going overseas, have them bring you one back. Have them bring you two back and send me one. Good stuff, man. Well, YTPC, I'm not going to hold you too long on this beautiful Saturday. I'm going to sit back, have me a little drink, have my pipe. Everybody stay safe out there. I know it's one of those things you got kind of tired of hearing about it, but just stay safe, wash your hands, do what you got to do till we can get through this and we can get back to our own normals. I'm thinking about y'all, and I hope uh, everybody stays safe and healthy out there. So... From my family to yours, peace. I'm out, YTPC.